long have you been around? When did Happy Buddha start? Uh, well, <clears throat> we've been around uh, on and off for about three years. So the founder, uh, Lindsay, she started off selling uh, her own homemade seitan in the okay. market down the road. Um, so she was making it in her kitchen and selling it here. And then she decided to start the restaurant. Okay. So great. I came on board about a year and a half ago. Um, basically because we wanted to expand, we wanted to have lots of restaurants and central kitchen mm. and start supplying some other restaurants. So it started mostly with just her? Did she have some she friends helping her out? Or? everything. She, oh, okay. She, she started it all. But she realized like to, you know, step it up to a restaurant, mm. she needed like people who were more experienced with F&B. Mm. So my background is completely F&B. Okay, great. So uh, I, I, I was brought on board really to train chefs, train the staff. Yeah. And basically make her ideas because she does everything in the kitchen. Yeah. I just noticed make, you've been doing the retail, most most of the yeah, retail as well. Yeah. yeah, just apply it to the restaurant. So I, I take her recipes and I, I just make it so we can adapt it to a restaurant. Oh, okay. And you guys, so so you recently did this whole crowdfunding and you're successful. So yeah. the next step is what exactly? Well, the next step for us immediately is to move downstairs. Yeah. So the reason for that is uh, downstairs we can have a kitchen as well. Yeah. So up here is a great space, mm. but we have to use a satellite kitchen. Yeah, a little confined. Which, yeah, and it's a little bit harder to manage. And mm. We just feel like, you know, us and the staff are all one big family. We all want to be under the same roof. Yeah, yeah. And uh, just see how that does. And then if it works, then we'll think about expanding again. And do you think this is kind of like mutually beneficial with the guys downstairs? They're coming upstairs, they're going to have a little more Absolutely, room? or yeah. yeah. I mean, it's good for us. We get our kitchen, but it's also equally good for them. Yeah. They want to expand their uh, workshops and uh, teaching people about nutrition. And what's the name of that place down there? Like Sprout Lifestyle. Sprout Lifestyle. So, yeah, okay. Because most people, they buy things online now. Yeah. So they don't really need a store. They yeah. don't make any, any business from their store. But yeah. workshops, they're... There's an incredible amount of interest. Yeah, definitely. They have this workshop here, but they're going to ex extend it to the floor. Yeah, but there's become a, I've noticed a recent demand in buying stuff at a real store because of all the packaging that's involved online, especially for vegans who don't like to do that. that. So, so that. yeah, exactly. And so you guys are making a push after this to be all plant-based, is that right? We want to be all plant-based. We do have uh, a couple of dishes still hanging on there <laughs> with dairy cheese. Yeah. Um, I think the reason for that is the demand was so high for yeah. those kind of dishes. And if you're making money from it, it's hard to... And we're making money, you know, that's where the margin is, unfortunately. Yeah. But really, it kind of, the more we go on and we push veganism, the more we realize this is kind of silly. Yeah. You know, we, need to, <laughs> we need to get rid of these dishes, whether it's going to work or not. Yeah. So we're going to push for it. So yeah. We'll be within the month. I mean, if it was up to Lindsay, it would be tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I read the article that she said, uh, you're closing for a week? Is that That's right. I mean, actually, I'm the one who's, keep, who's trying to keep the menu the same for now, so we no. can move downstairs nice and, uh, you know, just try and keep slowly but surely. Yeah, keep the spirit of what's happening now already alive. Yeah, yeah, but I know that Lindsay wants to push for vegan as soon as possible, yeah. so we've kind of compromised with about a couple of weeks, two weeks okay. from now. Within the within the month. Is it just the cheese, or is there anything? Is it oh, like eggs cheese. or anything like that? No, no. Eggs. no, eggs are not allowed on site. <laughs> which sometimes the staff are a little bit miffed about. Oh, uh, so, they, so, they, so the workers here aren't all. They're not all vegan. Um, some of us actually. The thing is, we they are all vegan uh, on site, and because they're vegan on site here, they tend to apply their diet at home. Oh, okay. But as with our customers, we never push people to go. 100% vegan. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of new new customers we have, we say, look, if you're if you're still eating meat, yeah. you're perfectly welcome here. Yeah, of course. But we would like to show you there is an option. Yeah. And a tasty option. If you want to start off with once a week, go vegan. Yeah. And generally, when people have our food, they're like, oh yeah, actually, yeah, vegan food like is not just yeah, just uh, you know, spaghetti bolognese with the mint picked out. It yeah, can actually, be really. There's a bit of a learning curve, but uh, it's, it's a, a learning curve. Yeah. We want to help people with the learning, you know, yeah. just show people that it's possible. Well. Yeah. 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 So. Um, and as far as the future, do you expect to have more branches, anything like that, um, or just kind of staying where you are down there? Well, for now, we're happy with just staying downstairs uh, until we can get good systems in place because really for a long time it's just been Lindsay it was yeah. just Lindsay and then it was just Lindsay and me uh -huh. uh, just running around trying yeah. to do kinds of stuff but of now we're 
we're going back to one location. Okay. And then once we get systems in place, SOPs. But the stuff, Pudong uh, takeout one will still the, be there, or no? The no? Pudong, we've we've moved out of that kitchen. I see. It was a lovely kitchen, but it wasn't really paying for itself. Okay. We yeah. were using that kitchen just to make food. Yeah. Here. Oh, all right. This was great. So every a little crazy. Every yeah. little penny we made mm. just went into that. Like, the transport yeah, and, and things and like the that. Transport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So like, our our ultimate goal is to definitely franchise. Okay. We would love to start our B two B. Yeah. So we have we do great. No, we do ice cream as you know. Yeah. And the idea is by next 2018 summer, we will get that rocking retailing B two B supplying other restaurants. Oh wow! Restaurants. Okay, great. So lots of plans for the new year. Yeah. <laughs> Tons of money. <laughs> so I guess the last to like wrap it up. Uh, Kind of, you guys have like a general mission statement. If someone on the street asks you, "What is this place?" I've heard about Happy Buddha. What would you say? Spread the word, really. Just, okay. Um, just help, you know, because it's trending now. Right? Yeah. It's, it's it's in its rightful place right now. People are, you know, I feel like people are ready to pull the trigger. Yeah. And commit to a vegan diet. Just show without without so much as a preachy standpoint. Yeah. Just help people make that transition that kind of needs to be made really to be honest yeah you know, I, I was agree. I was a meat eater until a couple of years ago I ate meat like it was going out of fashion <laughs> uh, and Same since here. I moved to a, a vegetarian diet and then a vegan diet it, was, um, it made me realize you know it's completely doable it makes you feel better mm. and it's inside and out and have you ever even from the beginning did you feel like you were um, kind of going out of your way and you're disappointed that you weren't eating yeah. what you were eating or uh, totally. it, it was I felt a lot better about eating plant-based food, yeah. but then I just get equally angry because mm. I couldn't find any food, uh, so I'm yeah. just walking around hungry all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you didn't find yourself craving any of the things that you... You know, once I moved on to this plant-based diet and I realized you can actually have, you can have really tasty burgers, for example, Yeah. I didn't miss it at all, really. at the uh, Happy Buddha new location backers party. Uh, I think they've only op had this uh, uh, floor open for one or two days now. They closed for three days for renovations and thanks to all the backers they were able to raise more than 90,000 RMB and they uh, kind of revamped their menu and they're trying to strengthen their brand and branch out to everyone. This is <laughs> delicious pizza.